The rising cost to house prison inmates has many looking here for inspiration. Minnesota is home to one of the country's only Christian faith-based rehabilitation programs. This isn't something that just happens. This is something that you work for. For the past 10 years, Interchange Freedom Initiative, or IFI, has worked with inmates at Lionel Lakes Prison. The program doesn't use any taxpayer money, and it's reduced reoffending, which in turn saves the state money. WCCO's Reg Chapman takes a look at the program, how it's changing lives, and the environment inside a Minnesota State Prison. I've spent the vast majority of my life coming in and out of institutions in Minnesota. And for most of that time, I was without hope. Don Urbanski has spent most of his 49 years behind bars. His drug-fueled criminal life came to an end when he was transferred to the state's prison in Lionel Lakes and became part of the Interchange Freedom Initiative. When I first got to IFI, I wasn't sure what to expect. I wasn't sure if it was Bible boot camp or a monastery. Dream jobs and next jobs. IFI is an 18-month program based on the life values and teachings of Jesus Christ. Inmates do not have to be Christian to participate in the program. Nobody forced me to believe anything spiritual or religious, but they did ask me to be honest uh, with myself and how I'd been living my life. I'm maybe 17. From 8 a.m. until 8 p.m., the 150 men in the program are taught to change their way of thinking. Uh, we do a backward career path. Counselors start out uh, teaching us how to change character through the teachings uh, of Christ. And then in the evening, volunteers come in, men and women, with their work clothes on. And they're the example, the embodiment of what we've been taught during the day. To take the old files out of our thoughts and put new files in. Joseph Perez says the program saved his life. Allow me to look at my identity and find out who I really am and what I really want to, what I really want to be known for. A study showed IFI is not only saving lives, it's saving taxpayer money. The study evaluated more than 700 offenders released from Minnesota prisons. It revealed being a part of IFI reduced the number of men who are rearrested and reconvicted by 40 percent. It also shows how the support system inmates build while on the inside helps them to be successful on the outside. Connect with a pro-social community, whether that's a church or a synagogue or could be a uh, it could be an AA group, but are connected to a pro-social community, less than 1% of that, uh, those men have come back on a new offense. I was dead. Aaron was dead. Aaron Burks was in the first class of IFI in Lionel Lakes 10 years ago. He spent his time as worship leader and director of the choir. He credits his aftercare with helping him succeed in life. Since I've come home, everything hasn't been smooth. You know, I've had some bumps in the road. And I think that just because I was able to go to people and say, look, this is what's going on and I need help. And they were able to help me to get through the tough times. IFI is only inside Lino Lakes and a prison in Texas. Because of its success, though, scaled down versions are now being formed at three other prisons. Christian Fellowship pays for the program.